Hey everyone, Carlin here, and I've got some really exciting news if you have a new HP AI PC, specifically the G11 800 series or 1000 series. This is the X360 1040 G11. The big news is that HP has a new camera app that is available on these devices as a free update. This new app is called Polycamera Pro and it's available as an update and a replacement to the video controls within my HP. So I just happened to be in the my HP app earlier this morning, clicked on video controls and it brought up a little message asking me if I wanted to update to the new Polycamera Pro app. And so I clicked yes. It brought me to this Microsoft Store page here. I went ahead and installed it and now I want to show you guys that new app. So this is the interface within the Polycamera Pro app. Right here we've got our camera settings and we can actually use this app for not just the built-in webcam on these notebooks, uh, but for any webcam that we have plugged in as well. You can set your resolution. Um, we can go to a higher resolution here, but we'll get this little notification that mentions that if we're using conferencing apps like Teams or Zoom, it's going to downscale the video anyway. So it actually recommends that if you are using Teams that you should just set it to 720p because that will use less processing power anyway. We've got scenes and watermarks here which I will touch on in a second. The next feature is framing, automatic framing. So we've seen this before in other camera applications and in fact again if you've used the My HP app in the past you'll know that automatic framing is built into that app as well. The difference is that the My HP app uses your CPU for automatic framing whereas here if I turn this on and first of all you can already see that this is way more responsive and quick. So one of the differences between the Polycamera Pro and then the My HP app which we previously had is that this is using the NPU to do some of that AI processing like automatic framing rather than using the CPU. Beyond the automatic framing feature we've also got your uh, background removal. So by default we've got that switched off but you can go to that typical sort of blurred background and you can adjust the intensity of it here. Otherwise there's a privacy mode here This just completely removes everything. Really great if you've got an incredibly messy room behind you. And then this final one here allows you to add your own image so you can import it yourself or more importantly it has a green screen that you can use. So the reason why this is important is because you can then use the Polycamera Pro app within other applications that use your webcam but don't have any native support for AI background removal. So as an example, we've got OBS here. This is what I'm actually using to screen record at the moment, which is why you've got this sort of mirror tunnel effect right here. But if we turn a camera on, you can see that it's automatically removed my background. It doesn't support any sort of native AI background removal without any plugins, but it does support this chroma key green screen removal. It means that we can use the Poly Camera Pro AI background removal in something like OBS. And again, if I jump back into the task manager, you can see that it's using the MPU for that background removal. Now, this is really important because here you can see that currently my GPU is still at about 50% and that'll partially be because I am screen recording using OBS. So anything that we can offload to something like the MPU on the Core Ultra chips, the better our system's gonna run. You've also got some anti flicker settings here as well. Uh, now, the last one that I wanna talk about, I skimmed over this before, is your scenes and watermarks. This is something that's really gonna level up your team's calls and really impress some people. So, what it is, is these overlays that you can apply to the camera. See, here I've just got a logo one in the corner, but here I've got one with a bunch of my details here, including my YouTube channel, LinkedIn, etc and you can customize it yourself. So I actually noticed that I'm missing that LinkedIn logo here. So if I click on Open Scene Gallery, I can customize any of these ones just by clicking on it. Here you can see you've got all these different layers, same as if you were using Photoshop or something like that. So here I can add uh, logos, that sort of stuff, and basically customize as many aspects of this here. So you can really have a lot of fun with this. And again, these overlays can then be used in Teams, in Zoom, or anything that uses your camera. There's also some basic image adjustment here. So you can adjust your brightness of the image, you can change 
your saturation here. You can change your contrast. And again, this app works with any cameras that you've got plugged into your computer as well. So if you've got a digital SLR, you're gonna get that same experience. So there we go. If you've got a G11 800 series Elite Book or a 1000 series Elite Book, open up the My HP app, make sure that it's updated in the Microsoft Store, click on that video controls button and that will take you to the Microsoft Store page where you can download the Poly Camera Pro app so that you can level up your camera experience when you're in Teams or anything else on your HP EliteBook. That's all from me guys, I'll catch you soon.